I woke up this morning and my scarf was cocked to the side. I was like, oh, I must have been sleeping real good. So I'm about to iron my clothes. Actually, I'm just ironing my shirt for the day. And I'm wearing some jeans and then I'm gonna wear my gray like duster thing. It's a sweatshirt duster. It's a fur up pattern. I do not enjoy ironing, but I do it when it's like absolutely necessary. So, that's what I'm up to. As I was setting up the ironing board, I was thinking about how I learned something recently about myself. I'm out of town, so I learned something on this trip. I went to the store the other day and I picked up some deodorant. And I guess I wasn't paying attention, so I just grabbed something. And it's one of those deodorants that looks kind of clear. It's not white. It's like clear, almost looks like maybe a gel or something, but I don't know if it really is a gel or not. But anyway, I put the deodorant on and everything was fine for a little while. But then, whew, by the end of the day, my armpits were itching so bad I was like oh my gosh I mean I was like Shh. I was going in and my pits were all red and I was like okay this is not good so I think it was the deodorant that I picked up so last night I went to the store and I picked up the kind I normally use which is just like a white solid and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this from now on. I never knew that at this age, my body did not like deodorant like that. So, thought that was interesting how we're always learning different things. Behind me is a microwave and a refrigerator. So if you watched my video from Florida, then you know what that's in reference to. And if you haven't watched that video, then I'll link it below. So I stopped at the grocery store yesterday to pick up some cantaloupe for my breakfast this morning. And then I also picked up this tea that I'd never seen before. So I'm gonna try this. Hopefully it's pretty good. Hopefully you can see it. It's peach flavored, zero sugar, so we'll see if that's any good. So before I came on this trip, I made a jumpsuit. I'm not finished with it. I am pretty much finished with everything as far as putting it together. And now all I need to do is hem it. So when I get home from this trip, I will share with you the jumpsuit and all the details. I am here at home trying on the McCall's 8218 jumpsuit. You can see it's really long on me, so I do need to go ahead and hem it. And I just use this knit striped fabric, focus, that I purchased online. I am going to be trying on the jumpsuit in a little while to show you what it looks like on. But I woke up this morning and I felt like cooking, so I made some pancakes. Here they are. So I'm waiting on my husband to get up so he can eat some breakfast. I'm calling this jumpsuit my very first spring sewing make. So I'm excited about it. It's very comfortable and I've even thought about whether I should keep it as pajamas because it's just that comfy and I think most of it is because of the fabric. I did make view C and this jumpsuit has pockets. 
One thing I really like about the jumpsuit is that it has a V-neck in the front and also a V-neck in the back. So I thought that that was a little different. Now I did take about two inches off of the hem because it was just that long for me. If I ever make this pattern again, I think I will just take some inches off of the actual pattern piece and that way I can save some fabric. Now there are facings for the front, the back, and also the armhole. I did use facings in the front and the back of the jumpsuit, but I did not put the facings around the armhole opening. So what I did in that area is I just folded the fabric over and just stitched it down. It was just easier that way. Now this pattern does call for elastic in the waist. I did put the elastic in the waist area, but then I tried the jumpsuit on, I took the elastic out, and I decided that I liked the jumpsuit better without the elastic. I did the same thing with the sash. I made the sash and I put it around my waist and I tied it and I realized I didn't like it as much as I did without the sash. So that's how I'm going to wear the jumpsuit just without the sash. So I ended up omitting three things all together and that would be the armhole facings, the sash, and the elastic in the waist. I did make a size 8 and this pattern is rated as easy. In our hotel room we are actually in Virginia and we are about to take a little road trip but first we want to grab something to eat I think we're going to this place called shakers never heard of it and I thought it was interesting to try something different so yeah I hope it's good Look at him all in my brown. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 